Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that you don't really need but you might want to buy anyways or maybe not. Uh, it is the Apex Legends hard copy. There are two editions, Lifeline and Bloodhound, which, side note, kind of weird. Like, Lifeline and Bloodhound? Really? I mean, I get Lifeline. But Wraith has obviously been like the poster. Just like the 301 has been like the poster weapon. Like Wraith has been like, to me, the poster legend. You know, like she's getting all this stuff. But hey, nice to see Lifeline and Bloodhound getting something for once. So all that aside, the hard copy of Apex Legends will be dropping on October 18th for a... Well, if you know anything about Apex and its price point, you would know that it's going to be $20, which is like Apex's favorite price point. Uh, now, that's, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, ish. You know, so they're really trying to give you a reason to purchase either edition and really they're probably trying to get you to purchase both editions because each hard copy edition comes with exclusive loot that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else now they definitely make it worth your twenty dollar price point when it comes to in-game loot so the lifeline edition is going to come with a pretty awesome lifeline skin the uh, Guardian Angel Lifeline skin, and then it's also going to come with the Chooser of the Slain Flatline skin, an exclusive Winged Guardian banner, which you won't be able to get anywhere else, and an exclusive Angel Struck badge, and a thousand Apex coins. Now, they only say that the Guardian banner and the Angel Struck badge are exclusive, I'm going to assume that they're definitely going to put that Guardian Angel Lifeline skin and the Flatline skin in the store at some point. So that way they can wring a little bit more money out of the people who decided not to purchase the hard copy. The major question would be, is it going to be, you know, 1,800, you know, coins? Or is it going to be 1,000 coins? It's, you know, because if it's 1,800 coins, honestly, you might as well just go out and buy the hard copy of the game. That way you can get... <laughs> all this stuff for 20 bucks, but uh, that's yet to be determined. Now, the Bloodhound Edition comes with the Intimidator Bloodhound skin, the Legendary Wrathbringer Prowler skin, a Feeling Impish banner, and then the Tormentor badge, and also a thousand Apex coins. Now, honestly, I started this video <laughs> with the intention to just dog on this because i'm not a fan of how ea handles everything and how they constantly seem to be just constantly you know just trying to get some money out of you out of the free-to-play game which you know obviously you have to make some money but like now you're gonna drop a hard copy it's not the only game to do that you know there's been plenty of free-to-play games to do that and hey maybe you don't have the space on your ps4 xbox whatever and so this is you know it might be a nice alternative and honestly for the 20 dollars price point the things that you get, you know, if they were exclusive to the hard copy editions, then I would say, you know, bruh, you got to go get the hard copy editions. But they're, they're not going to be, you know, like the, a little bit of it might. But the skins, there's no way that, the Bloodhound skin and the Lifeline skins aren't going to hit the store. And there's no way that that Flatline and the Prowler skins aren't eventually going to hit the store. Because they're going to want to get as much as they can out of you. Now obviously the banners and the badges, those are going to stay locked behind the hard copy. Because those are simple things that no one's going to pay actual money for. Now they'll pay actual money for these skins that they're going to get first. So... You know, I, I kind of feel like it's a middle-of-the-road thing because I like these skins, and they're obviously going to, you know, put the hard copy out. I doubt that they're going to do, like, a day one, oh, here you go, we've dropped the hard copy, now you can also buy this skin. 
in the store, but I don't think that they're going to keep that away from the rest of the Apex populace. Because, like I said, it's EA and they're going to want to get all their money that they can. But again, you know, dropping $20 for this, eh. <laughs> you know, I, I don't I don't think it's a, a horrible decision. Especially depending on what the cost of the skins are going to be. You know, if these skins come out at 1,800 po- coins, then you might as well go buy the hard copy edition. But then again, if you buy both editions... You know, you're 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 gonna have an extra hard copy of the game. Don't know what you're gonna do with that, but you know, maybe you could sell the free game. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Or it could just be a case, and you open it up, and boom, there's a digital download code. But it, you know, it's a hard copy, so at least there's that. Uh, you know, I I like the and speaking of the stuff that you're gonna get, man, the skins are pretty cool. I don't really care about the bloodhound skin to be honest. I think it looks kind of ugly, and yeah, it's just like a bad Power Ranger like villain. I do like the Prowler skin though. The Prowler skin's pretty cool. The banner is okay. The badge is pointless to me. The Lifeline skin, I like the Lifeline skin, but. You know, can't top that Iron Crown skin. So, plus that all white, like, that's hard to be all white. You know, like, you're going to be seen in the battlefield, like, from miles away. I do like the Flatline skin, though. It's pretty nice. I wouldn't pay for it, but I would like to unlock it or craft it. I do like the banner, quite honestly. I do like the Angel Wing banner. But, like, that's it. Now, if you would have thrown Angel Wings on Lifeline's character herself, but, like, Mercy from, uh... Overwatch, okay, that'd have been pretty cool. But, you know, alas, can't get what I want. So let me know your thoughts down below, and uh, let me know what you think. Are you excited about this? Are you glad that they come out with a hard copy? Do you think it's ridiculous that they've come out with a hard copy? And do you think they're going to come out with other hard copies? Because if these are a success, I would almost bet that they're going to come out with multiple editions of this, and not just Lifeline and Bloodhound. But also drop, you know, a Wraith one, a Gibraltar, a Caustic, a Mirage, whoever's out there. I bet you they'll throw one out there. At least from the original ones. The original Legends, maybe not for the DLC ones. But that would that would be cool too. Like, honestly, if you just drop these packs, you know, just make this like a bundle in the store. And I would spend 20 bucks on this. Just saying. But uh, again, thanks for watching.